प्रेम से सुमापति महादेव की जय जय सर स्थान विभूति सर जी बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट ऑन दिस वंडरफुल नाइट वेयर वी टेकन द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रेज आवर लॉर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड गणपति सरुति शंसरा दिवाय मास्टर ओम श्री गणेशाय नमः ओम श्री सरस्वते नमः ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमो नमः ओम गणनाम ता गणपते हम भवामहे कवेम कवि नाम उपम शवस्रम जिस राजम ब्रह्मणाम ब्रह्मण स्पदान शुनवनु त्रिसीद साधनम गम गणपते नमः ओम न तत्र सुरभात न चंद तारकम नेमा विद्रु बांचक नेमकी ही तमेव भान तुम न भाती सर्वम दस्तवा सा सर्वम विरम विभाते ओम तच्छमुड़ावण मेगा तुम यक्न्याय गातुम यक्न्यपते देवी स्वस्थ सुना स्वस्थ मानविशे व्याहर उद्वम जगात वेशजम शम्नो अस्तु द्वीपदे शम चतुष्पदे ओम नमो हिरण्यबाहवे नमः ओम उद्वलिंगा ये नमः ओम आत्मलिंगा ये नमः ओम ज्वलिंगा ये नमः ओम परमलिंगा ये नमः ओम सुवर्णलिंगा ये नमः ओम निधरपतांतका ये नमः ओम हर हर मापार्वती पते हर हर महादे हर हर महादे हर हर महादे जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जाकी पार्वती पिता महादेवा गणपति बर्बाद गणपति देवा हो गणपति देवा जय गणेश Jati Parvati Pita Mahadeva Parvati Deva Ho Gana Pati Deva Jai Ganesh Jai Ganesh Jai Ganesh Deva Maka Jati Parvati Pita Mahadeva Karpati Deva Ho Gana Pati Deva Ladwan Ko Bhoga Lage Ladwan Ladwan Ko Bhoga Lage Sange Sari Seva Karpati Deva Ho Gana Pati Deva Jai Ganesh Jai Ganesh Parvati Pita Mahadeva Karpati Deva Ho Gana Pati Deva Om Gam Gana Pati Deva Ek Dant Daya Vata Chahar Buja Dhari Mate Se Dur Sohe Musa Kisa Vare Andan 
On this beautiful night, my dear friends, as we begin a night of devotion, this is the final night of our worship to Lord Ganesha. We pay our pranams and salutations to that most golden and beautiful form of the clear murtis of Baba Ganapati. In this auspicious time of the Ganesh Utsav festival, where many devotees around the world will sacrifice their time, their efforts, their energy to praise our Lord, we once more begin this night with devotion. As we begin our night, on behalf of the members of this wonderful Lacha Shod Shiv Mandir, on behalf of Bhai Rishi, his wonderful family, and the entire team at this beautiful Mandir, a cordial welcome, a swagat or namaskar karta hu sablo. 
to all devotees a special welcome to my brother pandit pandit rani bhaiya once more a blessings to you bhai as you have taken the opportunity to join with us on all the nights of worship and devotion and to lead us once more in prayer special blessings to you to the members of the celestial gandharvas a special welcome to all of them taking this moment to join the bhaiya shiva swagatam once more to kavita ji special welcome tonight to join with us as we create the energy of vibrations through our music and our prayer tonight also specially we take a moment to welcome our devotees at scrut activated bhairi shri ji and once more your wonderful dolhin swagatam a special welcome tonight as we will create the energy of our lord shri ganesha and to each and every one to my mother who's here to all those who are locked on via facebook swagatam wherever you are in the world we take a moment to pray to lord ganesha at this time without further ado let us all sit up right let us close our eyes as we're about to join in prayer and as we join in our invocation mantras pranams to the deities oh oh करता दुख हरता मेरा 
गणपति बप्पा मोरिया सुख करता दुख हरता मेरा गणपति बप्पा मोरिया आओ प्रभु मेरे आओ मंगल मूर्ति आओ आओ प्रभु मेरे आओ मंगल मूर्ति आओ As we begin this beautiful night, night, friends, on this final night of worshiping Lord Ganesha, today it's called Guru Var, and on the day of Guru Var, we worship the father of Maha Ganapati, who is none other than Lord Shiva. But to begin this night with strength and with power, Gyara Avatar, the eleven form, we praise Bajrang Bali as we now join in our 40 verses of Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Om Gam Ganapati Namaha, Om Namah Shivaya. ओम श्री हनुमते नमः रियरा Come in. 
तुझ कैसे के नहाते तुम पुकार सुखी वही की राम लाए राम में लाए राज पर दीना राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय राम सिया राम सिया राम
starting to think only I am hyper tonight. Tonight is the final night of Lord Ganapati where we are worshipping Lord Ganesha and tomorrow we will be having that most beautiful procession where we will be taking our lovely Sri Ganesh Baba Murtis and we will be taking them to the waters once more for the Visarjan ceremony. But devotees, as we are about to begin the night, as we are about to join in our Katha taken from the golden pages of the Sri Ganesh Puran, first of all let me invite any devotee who would like to come to the front and sit on the floor at the feet of Lord Ganesha, can you please come to the front so that we can make space for the devotees who are at the back. All those who wish to be given the opportunity, you should have done run and come here already. You can come to the front, sit down at the feet of Lord Ganesha, you can come very close to him if you want. It is like having someone very close in your life, where every single day we would have been worshipping Lord Ganesha, feeling the energy of Prabhu and Bhagawan, and when you are given the opportunity to sit at his feet, Embrace it while you can. Tonight, Bhaktas, once more swagatam, namaskar, a special welcome to each and everyone as we're about to begin this night of prayer and devotion. And according to Abhakatha in the Ganesh Puran, Lord Ganesha, he shows the world once more his love, his blessing, and his strength upon each and everyone. As we're about to begin the message, today is Guruvar. Guruvar is the day that is dedicated to none other than Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is known to be the embodiment of peace. It is often said in many scriptures that it doesn't make sense that you have so much things in life. It doesn't make sense you have a big house and a nice car and you have money and wealth and everything. And at the end of it all, when you lie down to sleep, your head is frustrated. Your mind is corrupted. There are millions of thoughts in your mind and you can't even have a proper sleep. Like they say, the money could buy the house but not the home. The money could buy the bed but not sleep. Today, my friends, while we think about the logic of the world, there's no greater way in the world to dissipate all the negativities and the stress of your life than to sit at the feet of God and pray. When you sit there, if you want to go closer, you could go closer. If you want to sit for the whole two hours and put your hand on his feet, you could do that too. If you want to lie down and roll in front of him, you could do that too. <laughs> Ganesh Baba has been given the authority and the blessing to be worshipped first. Ganesh Baba, his mother and his father said to him, Ganapati, we bless you. If nobody prays to you first, not even we will go and bless them. In other words, when your own mothers and fathers bless you, then nothing in the world bad would ever happen to you. While we sit before this beautiful child, this wonderful bhakta of Lord Shiva, tonight we must begin with worship to Mahadev. And while we will chant for Lord Shiva, Ganesh Puran, it speaks, my friends, beautifully of a wonderful message. Lord Ganesha is about to sit and he's about to study the scriptures. He's about to study the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Shastras. And while he will study the scriptures, the Katha begins. To those who remember, Lord Ganesha was about to write in the Mahabharata. He was about to write Mahabharata at the hands of Sage Vyasji. And when you look at him sometimes and you see that broken tusk, it is remembered that he had broken his tusk to continue writing. The Guru said to him, when I start speaking, do not stop. At no cost, do not stop because I'm visualizing scriptures. I'm visualizing the kathas while it is taking place. Ganesh Baba, I've called you to write the scripture because I know you won't let me down. And Ganesh Baba started to write. And the Guru's eyes are closed and he's speaking and the Ganesh Baba is writing. And suddenly now he, he realized that he couldn't write anymore. There was nothing there. So what did he do? Break the task. And he continued writing because he is one of the deities of the universe that you can depend on. In life, sometimes you ask yourself who to depend on when you have a problem. Who to turn to and who to depend on when you have a crisis. When you're going through a situation in your house, who do you turn to? If you turn to your spouse, you might fight. If you turn to the children, they might break their heart, it might break their mind and their consciousness. If you turn to a friend, they might take your life and your business and put it on the streets. Who to depend on in life when you're having a crisis? None other than Lord Ganesha. 
और उसके पीछे सीज गतरे दी गुरु सीज वियास ही सीज गणपति आई चूज यू बिकॉज़ आई डिक कैन डिपेंड ऑन यू टुनाइट वी कैन डिपेंड ऑन लॉर्ड गणेश रिमेंबर टुनाइट अंटिल टुमारो यू कैन स्पीक इन हिज एयर्स यू कैन टॉक टू हिम डोंट बी स्केयर डोंट बी अफ्रेड स्टे हाउ लॉन्ग यू वांट and speak to him turn to him and walk up to his ears at the end of the satsang or even if between or in between the satsang you realize maybe you need to speak and maybe the thoughts are coming that things are happening in your life walk up to him say baba i want to pray to you to clear my heart to clear my mind to clear my consciousness and to bring back blessings into my life and as we begin with this chant to lord shiva before we join in our katha everybody sing together नम ओ नम 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 शशिशेखराय नमः ओम उमापति महादेव की एवरीबॉडी बाय योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शिव शंकर शशिशेखराय नमः योर सॉन्ग लाइक फ्यूज ब्लू अ लिटिल बिट गणपति बापा शिव शंकर परमेश्वर एक बार और सबको प्यारी फॉरगेट ऑल गेट ऑल योर ट्रबल्स इन योर लाइफ टुनाइट एंड से प्रभु आई एम सिटिंग बिफोर यू एंड ओनली यू कैन हेल्प मी बोलो शिव शंकर परमेश्वर शशि शेखर नमः ऑल टुगेदर नाउ शिव शंकर परमेश्वर शशि शेखर नम ओ शिव शंकर परमेश्वर शशि शेखर नम ओ शिशेकराय नम ओ बोलो शिव शंकर शशिशेकर शशिशेकराय नम ओ सदा शिवाय परमेश्वर 
Katha taken from the golden pages of the Sri Ganesh Puran. We're about to listen to the message of our Lord. But as we're about to do so, let me also take this wonderful opportunity to welcome Pandit Varunji once more. A blessing to have you, or uh, the resident Pandit of this beautiful Mandir. Once more, Swagatam and a cordial welcome to you tonight. Tonight in the Ganesh Puran, friends, Lord Ganesh Baba sits down to study the Vedas. And when he sits to pray, he would expect that nobody will disturb him. When you pray, don't let anybody disturb you. When you sit to do your worship, when you get up in the morning and you're about to offer your jal, when you're about to offer your dhar, when you're about to simply just light a diya, even if it takes that one minute of your life or your daily schedule, and you're about to light that diya, and you will chant the mantra, which mantra do you say? Siddhi. Are you it? Siddhi Buddhi. Nah, man, I can't believe that. <laughs> what is the Gayatri Mantra? How does it go? Jai Bhagwan. Alaya, what time you back here? Bhargo Devasya Diyo Yona. What is the Mahamrityum Jai Mantra? Trambakam Yajamahe. Sugandim Urvaru Kameva Mrityur Mokshiya. There are many Gayatri mantras. What is Ganesh Gayatri? Aha. Om Ekadantaya Vidmahe Vakratundaya Dhimahe. Tanno dante. Kya baat? Ek danta hai. Vakratunde dhimahi. Tanno dante. It is the only Gayatri mantra 
it is the only bij mantra that has the three names of lord ganesha when you do normal gayatri mantras om bhur bhaswa you are paying salutations to the sun god when you do durga gayatri mantra when you do the different deity surya gayatri mantra their names are chanted once but when you do ganesh gayatri mantra ek dantai vidmahi vakra tunde dhimi tanu danti prachodaya three times you're calling his name in three different forms saying prabhu as the dispeller of obstacles help me as the one who gives wisdom guide me as the one who creates positivity help me when you chant ganesh gayatri mantra you're asking ganesh baba in his three forms to help you to lift yourself eradicate whatever obstacles you have in your life and with the momentum of life allow you to become better life is all about momentum life is about the rhythm when you see people getting older and you tell them here na papa you need to stop working so hard you know what they say and according to experience the day that they actually stop doing something that is the day they will shut down if your grandmother or your great grandmother or your grandfather or great grandfather is about 65 70 maybe 80 years old and every day they are accustomed to getting up and going and sweeping the house and go back inside and wipe the cabinet and that is their daily schedule the day you tell them stop that one week after you'll realize they can't move the routine or the rhythm of life life is about rhythm everything in life has a rhythm we are walking and you will hear the footsteps it goes in a timing it's a rhythm the doctor listens to your heart there's a rhythm with the beat how does it beat go how does your beat go do 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 well i hope so <laughs> if you get skip in here do 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 something wrong <laughs> there's a rhythm in your heart beat there's a rhythm in walking there's a rhythm in many things you sit down sometimes Sometimes I lie down to sleep and I'm wondering okay well you know what tomorrow is another day I wonder what should what I should do and just in the silence of the moment you'll hear in your ears the rhythm of your beat the heartbeat Sometimes you're just sitting there and you listen to the clock and you hear it clock 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 and you get a rhythm To those are musicians you find a rhythm easy Sometimes in the silence of many things you find a rhythm life is about rhythm prayers is about rhythm when you're living your daily life everything must move in a rhythm the day you slow down that's it you will slow down and come to a dead stop keep your life in a momentum when you're working keep working with that momentum when your love life or your marriage life and everything has started in a most beautiful way keep the rhythm going when you're in a marriage or a relationship and you realize you started and everything like they say a new relationship or a new or newly wed or marriage It always starts off nice, not so? It is up to you to keep the rhythm of life. When you're living with the children in your home, keep the rhythm of life moving. The minute you sit down and one say, "Well, I'm getting fed up now, and I'm bored, and I don't know what to do," you're creating moments to allow negativity to flow. Always live life with a momentum. You know what, Katha? Ganesh Baba sits to chant the Upanishads, the Vedas, and the Shastras, and while he's chanting the mantras, he's chanting with a rhythm. When you do prayers, do your mantras in a rhythm. I was telling some devotees recently that many a times when we are doing havan puja, sometimes the pandit starts the mantra, Om Sri Ganesha Ya Namaha Swaha, Om Kalvikarna Ya Namaha Swaha, Om Lambodara Ya Namaha Swaha, and the rhythm is going, Om Namo Narayana Namaha Swaha, and it's going, and you're offering, but sometimes you start lagging behind now. and while you start lagging behind you change your momentum of your prayer when the pandit come and he starts chanting mantras the rhythm starts to build it's like inviting god and say prabhu sit there so let's offer flowers now okay flowers prabhu okay let's offer water prabhu hold on eh we now get any water bhagwan has to sit there and wait this is bhagwan when you sit to do your prayer on the altar pandit says first of all make sure everything there so you don't have to get up in the middle of the prayer and say prabhu you have to wait Bhagwan is all compassionate he's all merciful but he is that unlimited energy people of today's world are losing faith in god because we are becoming too intoxicated with what life gives and we are forgetting the power of god if you can sit and pray you will see a miracle happening and then you will realize with a little spark how powerful our gods are ganesh baba sits and while he's chanting with the momentum He is chanting Vedas, Upanishads, Shastras. What is he chanting? Everybody tonight. 
ಓಂ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ವಿನಾಯಕ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಗಣಪತಿ if ganesh baba get up from here right now and start up in front what you do narji goron only jambi is run bhai <laughs> ganapati bappa ganapati bappa bolo om gam ganapataye shri siddhi vinayaka namo nama ashta vinayaka namo nama ganapati bappa moriya mantras with a rhythm he starts to build a vibration and an aura but suddenly now he starts to hear the cry of holy ones on the earth lord ganesha he is doing his mantras and people of the earth are screaming out why because they are hearing the cry of people it is said brahmanas pandits sadhus maharishis they were doing prayer and there were rakshasas and asuras who were breaking up their prayer ganesh baba he looks down and he sees them but while he sees them calling out he takes a moment to look to understand to acknowledge what is about to happen and there he continues with his shastra Lord Ganesha sits to pray he's chanting his mantras and suddenly he sees on the earth people are calling out for help when he takes a look he realizes there's an asura a rakshasa there's a bad person who has gone through the village and to everyone who's praying he's creating problems but as he would try in his mind to try to understand who this rakshasa is the rakshasa will come here and there as though he's playing hide and seek 
At one moment he will go and he will destroy this part of the village. And another he will go to another village very, very far away. Then he might leave the earth and he might go to the skies. He will go to Lord Indra. He might go to the heavenly region. He might go back down to Patalok. He might go back to the earth. And Lord Ganesha realizes that this Rakshasa is not like any ordinary Rakshasa. This Rakshasa is one who is playing games and he's trying to now create problems in the mind and in the hearts of devotees who are doing their prayer. While Swamis and Sadhus will sit to pray, a Rakshasa will stop them from praying. And while we listen to this in the world that we live in today, tell me who these Rakshasas are. We've heard of Ravana, we've heard of King Kams, we've heard of many demons and Asuras. But who are the Asuras who are around you in today's world? Who are the negative people in your life? Think about that now. Long ago, and today when you listen to a Katha of Ramayan, Ravan is the demon who tried to destroy Prabhu Ram. In the Katha of Bhagavan Krishna, King comes, try to destroy the entire village of Mathura, Vrindavan, Gokul, Barsan. Those were the Rakshasas. In today's world, who are the Rakshasas around you? Yeah, it's a Rakshasa around you. <laughs> who are the Rakshasas around you? There are people in your life, my friends, who you sit with, who you eat with, who you speak to, who you laugh with. And they are like Rakshasas around you. Do you know that? There are people around you who will look at you and smile and say, you know how much I love you, and turn around and say, you know, I hate me. <laughs> there are people in today's world who will stand to be your best friend and they don't even like anything about you. Who are the Rakshasas in your life? Beware who they are. If you want to know who they are, it's simple. Pray to Ganesh Baba and the truth will come to light. Tonight, before you go back home, go up to Ganesh Baba and say, Prabhu, you know something? I've been having doubts about this friend of mine and that person and this co-worker and this person in my life. But Prabhu, I really don't know. Can you show me? And trust me, something will happen and you will see. You see, look at the sign right there. God will give you signs. Maybe in a dream. Maybe in the world. Maybe something will happen. Maybe you'll wake up and just hear something. Somebody might tell you something. God will give you signs. But have your faith and pray. Pray with a pure heart and the answers will come. In marriages, people will have the question, is it true about my spouse? Is it true about my children? Is it true about the people in my life? Whoever it may be, take a moment and pray to the Lord tonight. You're given the moment tonight until tomorrow. And he will definitely answer your questions. Rakshasas, demons, asuras, they are the people who will stop you from prayer. They are the people who will stop you from praying to God. They are the ones who will stop you from doing devotion. They are the ones who will stop you from lighting a deer. Or maybe going to a yajna or taking part in some religious function. Rakshasas will always try to pull you back. Ganesh Baba is praying. And when he looks down, the Rakshasa is breaking his concentration because he's trying to destroy the world. And while he's trying, the gurus and his sadhus of the earth, they are begging for help. How will they beg for help? They will put their hands together and they will look up into the skies. Do you find yourself in that position sometimes? You don't know who to talk to, who to speak to in your home or in your job or in your school or wherever it may be. And sometimes you stand up in the openness and you look into the sky and say, God, I don't know. God, I really don't know again. Many people find themselves in that position. When you find yourself there, then what do you do? Tonight, the gurus are asking for help. So what will they do? They've decided now to look up into the skies and they're about to pray. And while they will pray, they will invite now their most prominent deity. They are worshippers of Lord Shiva. And they will invite Lord Shiva. Today is Guruvar. Today is the day to worship Lord Shiva. They will pray to Prabhu Shankar and say, Lord Shiva, I don't know how you can help us. But a Rakshasa is playing games with us. Can you please show us a light onto this situation? While they will cry out in prayer. Tonight, let us pray. Bhagavan Ameri Naya उस पार लगा देना भगवान भगवान मेरे नया उस पार लगा देना अब तक निभाया
And while he sees these rakshasas who are creating problems, he hears the prayer and the cry. But these devotees are begging Prabhu Shankar Bolenath. So Lord Ganapati, he stops everything that he's doing because he can't concentrate. These sadhus are crying and begging for help. So he gets up now and he goes to Kailash Parabat and he meets his father, Prabhu Shankar. When he sees Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva is meditating. He goes and he shakes him and he says, Prabhu, Pitaji, maaf ki je, forgive me for waking you. But your devotees on the earth, they are calling you. Why don't you go and help them? And Lord Shiva says, Son, I'm in the middle of devotion. Why don't you go and help them instead? And Lord Ganesh Baba, he says, Okay, you know what? I will help them. Ganesh Baba leaves the skies. And he's about to go down to the earth. And he's about to save these sadhus. Baba has gone to his father and he says, Pitaji, look at the people begging for your help. Why don't you help them? And Prabhu Shankar says, can't you see I'm in deep meditation? If you want, why don't you go and help me? And Ganesh Baba says, okay, I will go down. He goes down to the earth and he tries to look for his Rakshasa. The Rakshasa is playing hide and seek. He will appear one spot, he will disappear. He will come at the other, but not just on the earth. He will go from the earth to the skies to the nether worlds and back and forth. And Ganesh Baba, he decides to go and he sit on the earth now. He sits on a spot where all these sadhus are. And he decides to sit in his meditative posture, knowing that as long as he will pray, the Rakshasa will come to break his concentration. And while he sits in that meditative posture, it took him a few days of just sitting there. But when the appropriate moment came, 
The Rakshasa approached Lord Ganesha and while he was there, he was about to push Lord Ganesha down from the Parvat. And while he stood there and he was about to push, Sri Ganesh Baba immediately took his hands and he grabbed him by the neck. And it said, squeezing the life out of the Rakshasa. All the sadhus saw the moment where he's squeezing the life out of that Rakshasa. And they started chanting, Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Ganapati Bhakta! So Ganesh Baba, he destroyed the Rakshasa. When he destroyed the Rakshasa, Automatically, when good triumphs evil, what do you do? You celebrate. So all the sadhus became so happy, Ganesh Baba killed the demon now. So everybody happy, so let's celebrate. How to celebrate? They started taking their instruments, and they started to dance, and they started singing. And while they're dancing and they're singing, at that point, Ganesh Baba looks at all of them and he says, you know what, it is time for me to go. But suddenly, before he could leave the earth and go back to the skies, they started sharing sweets, and they started sharing mangoes, and they started to share fruits. And while sharing fruits, all of a sudden, now because of the, the enjoyment of the entire situation, one fellow now, one guru walked up to the other, and he says, you know what, here, try this, try this, and he pushed it by his mouth. Anybody ever come to offer you something and say, taste it, not taste it? <laughs> and before you know it, they don't reach in your mouth. <laughs> One sadhu pushed the mango and it reached and the sadhu mouth and he said, why you push it for? And he took his mango and he pelled the other one. When he pelled the other one now, a little fight began. Why you pelled me for? And he took the other mango and he started to pelt the next one. And before you know it, have a mango, fight. Everybody fighting with mango. <laughs> While they were fighting with mango, by one mistake, one sadhu pelt a mango and missed. There was one mother who was sitting not too far and she's just sitting by herself. Nobody could see her. She's facing backwards. And while she's sitting there, suddenly one mango hits she and she back. And she turned around and said, who hit me? She got up in a rage and she walked up to all of them and she's wondering, who hit me? I will deal with them now. Which one are you hit me? And everybody stopped fighting with mango now and say he. And next one said, no, no, he. No, not me. It was he. He started it first. And you know, we like to point fingers. Everybody started to point fingers. And while they're pointing the fingers, Ganesh Baba stops and he says, you know what? I am remover of obstacles. Before problem starts here, let me intervene. Ganesh Baba gets up and he walks in. Now when all the sadhus stop, and there that, that woman who's standing, she says, are you Ganesh Baba? Listen, somebody pelt me today. I need to find out. And he's looking around to see who. But while he's looking, he sees something. She was sitting in a corner by herself. What was she doing there? He sees something in the ground and he wonders what it is. So he decides to go to find out. He walks away and everybody's looking at him, waiting to find out who is the one who started it. And he passes everybody and he goes to where she was sitting. And you know what he found? He found an egg. Yeah, egg. <laughs> he found a big egg. He sat down and he looked at the egg and he decided to touch it. He touched it. He touched the other end. He looked around. Everybody busy right now finding out who pelt who. So he sat down with the egg and he picked up the egg like this. And when he picked it up, as soon as he held it in his hand, the egg started to shake. And as soon as he looked at it while it was shaking, suddenly the egg broke. What come out of the egg? A little bird. A bird came out of the egg. And as soon as the bird came out of the egg, the bird jumped on his lap, stretched out the wings. And when he saw the wings, how big, how could a big bird fit in his little thing? I don't know. But he stretched out his wings. And as soon as he stretched out the wings, Ganesh Baba looked at him and he pulled back because the wings have opened out so big and broad. And when he pulled back, suddenly now the bird jumps on the floor on the ground right next to him. But with the heavy feet of the big bird, as he lands there, Ganesh Baba feels a little shake on the ground. This is no ordinary bird. 
This has to be some powerful bird. What kind of bird is this? She was hiding all the time. And while he looks at the bird stretched out, then this woman came back and she says, Oh, now I know who you really are. You are Ganesha. You are Ganapati. I was told that the moment the son of Lord Shiva holds that egg, it will be broken. You are the son of Mahadev. Have you come to save the world? Have you come to save us? Are you Ganesha? Are you Ganapati? And when the bird stands, then he opens out the wings, my friends. You start seeing coloration everywhere. The bird shakes out all the substance that was on the wings. And he shakes out himself. This is no ordinary bird. This woman says, Ganesha, I've been told that the person who breaks this egg will have to own what came out of the egg. Ganesh Baba, that is yours now. He said, mine? I don't deal with egg and I don't deal with bird. She says, that which came out of the egg has been destined to be yours. You will have to take it. And he looked at the bird and when he looked at it, he says, okay, if this has to be mine, it will be mine. He held him by the neck and he pulled him closer and he looked into his eyes. I mean, he looked. It is said he could see the universe in the eyes of this bird. He stepped back and he looked and he says, if I were to be your ruler, your master, then show me who you really are. And that bird opened the wings, the tail started to open out, and he says, oh, Mayur. What is Mayur? Peacock. You're a beautiful peacock. That's what you are. And he jumped on his back, and he says, the world will learn that when you see a peacock, and you see Ganesh Baba sitting on a peacock, what does it represent? The controller of the Maya of the world. When you look at the peacock, many people want to see the coloration of the feathers. If you see a peacock running all over the place and somebody hold it, you stand up there for hours until you see him open out, not so? You want to see the tail and you want to see how nice the feathers are and you want to see it. If you don't, you feel, well, I see a peacock, but what's the sense? Because I didn't see it. You want to see the coloration of it. And when the colors started to shine, he says, oh, I'm dazzled by this color. When you look at a peacock and it opens out, Sri Krishna says, with the peacock feather, the coloration symbolizes the Maya in the world that ties your mind up, that confuses you. And if you want to come back to earth and understand not to be kept by Maya, this beautiful bhajan says, Kya maya mera ka Kya maya mera ka Ho ja rama naam ka Pakka lo bhi Kya maya mera ka So when people hear this now, people just think about bottle, stool, table. Jai Bhagawan. What kind of song is this? Abhajan. What kind of song is this? Abhajan. How does this go? If I want to shake a little foot, I think it's fine. Bole ro get up. It says, Kya? Kya means what? Maya. Maya means illusion. Kya Maya Meraka. To the people of the world who are caught up by Maya and illusion, Hoja Rama Namaka, Pakka Lobi Pakka means promise. Promise by the name of Sri Ram, you won't get caught by the Maya of the world. Is that Bhajan? He says, Ram Charaname Jo Koyavata Sakala Papa Katijai. While we live in the world, take the feet of Ram Prabhu, Ram Charaname, the feet of our Lord, and remove the sins, Papa Katijai. Drova Prahalar Vibhishana Pandav. In Mahabharata, you have Drova Prahalar, Vibhishan comes in Ramayana. Pandava, the Pandavas are part of Mahabharata, Hanuman Bahubat. He says, and Sri Hanumanji will protect you. So this is our bhajan. Umapati Mahadeva ki, Vrindavan Bihari Lada ki. Kya maya mein raka, kya maya mein raka, Oja Rama Nama ka, Vakka lo de, kya maya mein raka, Oja Rama Nama ka, Vakka lo de, kya maya mein raka.
राम चरण में जो कोई आवत सकल पाप कट जाए राम चरण में जो कोई आवत सकल पाप कट जाए जो चरण से सुर शरण करे जो चरण से सो शरण करे शकर जता समाधे राम नाम का भक्कल रे क्या मया मैं रचा राम नाम का भक्कल रे क्या मया मैं भीषण पांडव हनुमान बहुबाले जो प्रहला रवि भीषण पांडव हनुमान बहुबाले गिरिजतायु सम पट तर गए गिरिजतायु सम पट तर गए तर गए सबको जाते जब राम नाम का भक्तलो रे क्या मया मै रखा पूजा राम नाम का भक्तलो रे क्या मया मै दुनिया दाल तमाल जाना बनिया बैल कदाए दुनिया दाल तमाल जाना बनिया बैल कदाए हो जाए माया संग जाए हो जाए माया संग जाए सब यही रह जाए राम नाम का भक्तलो रे क्या मया मै रखा पूजा राम नाम का भक्तलो रे क्या मया मै रखा said lord ganesha he found that bird and he kept that bird with him and while he jumped on the back of that peacock he started riding into the skies all the sadhus over there they put their hands together and they said at that point allow him not today to be called ganesha but he will be called mayureshwar mayur means peacock ishwar means the lord the lord of the peacock we often know that bhagwan shri krishna he always has the peak of feather but some devotees i know many devotees were seeing me in gayana recently one of the ganesh baba we had there you could have seen the peak of feathers at the back and you could have seen the part of the bird at the front and some people were asking but what kind of murti is this he was called mayureshwar where you can see the peacock standing next to him he will ride on a peacock when he takes that form katha continues now ganesh baba he goes into the skies with the peacock and while he goes into the skies he's about to continue his devotion but then he looks down on the earth and he sees something happening he sees a mother sitting down and she's praying and she's begging she says the world knows lord shiva the world knows devi mata the world knows bhagwan gopal but she says all i see when i close my eyes is ganesha when you go back home after the yajna do you see him when you're doing your da- your daily duty after you come the night like last night and the night before when you get up and you're going along your day do you see him 
he is always in my thoughts all the time it is said that he comes in the mind of each devotee who attends and who comes fix your mind on him and allow him to walk with you keep him in your thoughts this mother sees him everywhere she gets up in the morning and she she's about to pray to lord surya and she puts her hands together when she's about to pray how do you pray to lord surya om bhaskarai vidmihi divakarai dhimahi tanno surya prachodayat or you chant om bhur bhuva svahatat savitur varinyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhyoyona prachodayat but when she puts hands together and she starts om jai vinayaka i only see vinayaka there she's about to go about her duties jai vinayaka she goes out into the markets jai vinayaka she's walking on the streets jai vinayaka all she thinks about is vinayaka anything that she does anything that she is about to see or look at any god she is about to pray she is standing in front of bhagwan shiva but she is saying vinayaka she is standing in front of the murti of durga devi ma jai vinayaka all she has is ganesh baba because she has a wanting a yearning to see lord ganesha one day she sits to pray and when she sits to pray she's calling him ganesh baba when will you show yourself vishwadhara vinayaka bolo bolo vishwadhara you all think if you song like uh, you think you come home with you he go run ganapati bappa ganapati bappa vishwadhara vinayaka vishwadhara vinayaka ganesh baba he sees a mother praying and her heart is pure and while she's praying with a pure heart he says you know what let me see what she's really up to let me see if she's real in her prayer she claims to walk everywhere and saying vinayaka vinayaka ganesha vinayaka let me see if she's really a devotee or she just acting sometimes we pray and people look at us praying and say look at him he come on there he don't say no <laughs> that's all sometimes people look at us and they judge us and they don't know where your heart is nobody will know where your mind is nobody will know where your heart is nobody know, will know what your intentions are but you will know who you are you will know what you're about when you sit before god it's you and god only lock out the whole world don't let the world affect your mind your thoughts and who you are as a devotee stand up with a positive attitude and pray to your gods today ganesh baba wants to test her so he comes down like a boy he changes his form disguises himself and he comes like a boy and he starts to walk now through the village and while he's walking that mother came outside from a little home and she's standing and she looks at the sun jai vinayaka and she bows to the earth vinayaka and she sees the boy walking now and she says vinayaka are vinayaka let me ask you if god walks inside here right now would you recognize him no right why kya maya mai rakha because our minds are so in tune with the maya of the world and many of us have lost so much faith and love in god that you don't even know real from unreal that if god were to come you would even see him right there for example do you think the devotees of treta yog when prabhu ram was walking and you do you think they believe that he was god no do you think when bhagwan shri krishna blew the basuri and he walked through vrindavan that they believe that that was god Many of the gopis they would say yes you know what we in love with this child and many of the gopas would say what kind of boy is this he playing a basuri and taking everybody not everybody believe that he was god if prabhu walks in here tonight would you believe that he is god the mother she didn't see god in him but she calls vinayaka for everyone she says vinayaka and he stopped and he says did she really recognize me i wonder if she did vinayaka you know how long i was waiting for you come come vinayaka aao oh. and he is so much in his mind he says you know what she has recognized me she is real and she calls him and she's beta come sit here sit on my lap and when he sits there she says you know long i have a wish to be fulfilled and today i will fulfill my wish and he's saying well look at that she sees straight through me and while he's sitting there this son vishwadhara
Vinayaka 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 I want to take care of the people of the village and I want to feed everybody. He says that's not a problem. Ma, I can cook, you know. I can help you cook. Ganesh Baba, this guy is a boy. He says, Ma, do you want me to help you? Mother says, sure. That's why I was waiting on you, Vinayaka. And still he believes that she has seen him. So he gets up now and he says, Ma, well, show me. What do you have to cook? And the mother says, come. Let's go in the kitchen now. And when she walks in the kitchen, he's about to see what is there. there you will see this is what I want to make scripture says that Ganesh Baba stood there looking and what did he find the mother shows them the materials that is there and he only had a little to use he had some milk he had a handful of rice a fistful so much rice he had milk he had rice he had some sugar and it is said he had one pot the pot was big like this. Mother says, so tell me now. So you think we could feed everybody? And Ganesh Baba looks at it. Handful of rice, little bit of milk, big pot. Okay, go and tell everybody. Tell everybody to come. Tell the whole village. You bring everybody, whoever you want to feed. You bring them. And she says, really? True? You sure? Ha ma, jao. She says, jai vinayaka. And she walks away and she goes into the village. And while she's in the village, he decides now to start cooking. He takes his fistful of rice, he puts it in the pot, he takes the milk and he starts to mix. And he's taking now the sugar and he's mixing. What is he making? He's making kheer, sweet rice. He's turning the pot with a little bit inside there, but it's starting to bubble. And while it's bubbling like froth, while the froth is growing, the amount is also growing. He starts to turn until the pot is becoming filled. And when the pot becomes filled, he says, okay, my job is done. He wipes off his, shoulder, his forehead and he sits down and he waits and the mother isn't coming. So he decides to lie down and say, well, okay, well, I will wait for her to come. And while he lies down, everybody bully him. Oh, oh, oh. 
the mother comes in after some time and the mother sees now ganesh baba is lying down in the ground and he put his cover are vinayaka utna did you make what i gave you and he gets up and he says ma look and he pulled the cover and it is filled with kheer and sweet rice she says will this enough for everybody he says don't worry this will be enough so she now is about to take out the spoon but she doesn't have any container she does not have anything to take it out he says ma go outside get to lotus leaf take the lotus leaf and you bring it and he started to put now the kheer or the sweet rice into the lotus and while he puts it into the lotus he gives the mother a full lotus leaf with sweet rice and he starts to fold the other and he's waiting now to give her the mother goes and she shares it with all the devotees who are there she puts them line up and she shares she comes back now and she takes the other and she sees the pot is half filled are beta vinayaka would this be enough ma jao she goes and she empties the second leaf and when she comes back the pot is filled again and she couldn't understand the pot is filled again and he has now this leaf filled where is he getting it from you remember that thing goli barakat when you're having a puja and you're about to make prasad early in the morning you normally do what first yeah you take out a little seedha you take one tarya and you put a little alu and you put a little rice and you put a little bit of onion and a little bit of a few things and you put it right there and you pray and you take a little water and you pass it around the pot and you say lord allow this prasad to have barakat so no matter how much people come it will be enough and when you cooking your food for the prayer you do the same thing and you put that little seed there it is the barakat that makes it flow it is barakat that makes it stretch as we would say so that everybody could get the barakat of our life we grew to learn and to understand that when your life has barakat when your money has barakat when your wealth has barakat it may run low but it will never finish that is barakat that is why when the guru comes to your home and he eats and he leaves a remnant of the food you partake of that it is the blessing and the barakat that he has left behind when the guru does the puja in your home he takes a bit of rice and he says a mantra and he gives it to you why because it is the barakat that you will take what do you do with the rice that the pandit gives you what do you do with it you put it in a bag and what again and you put it in the rice pan and then the next prayer you do you get next one and you put it in a bag and you put it in the rice pan and by the time you do 20 prayers for the year what are you going to do <laughs> you're supposed to open it out and empty it not put it in a bag how much little parcels you will have there it is barakat that must be emptied so that you will always have and the more prayers you do the more the barakat will come empty it into your pan take some and put it where you have your money put some where you have your little safe or where you have your your little part of corn in your house that you keep your money put some where you have your jewelry put some where you have your food so you'll always have money you will always have food you'll always have wealth and you can even take some and put it in front of your home where you have your tulsi plant so happiness will always flow through your house ashtavinayak mangaladayak ashtavinayak mangaladayak ashtavinayak mangaladayak sidhivinayak moriya ashtavinayak mangaladayak sidhivinayak moriya shri ganaraya this my friends we end our beautiful message tonight listening to the glories of our lord shri ganesha tonight as we end our final session in katha and messages to lord ganesha tomorrow morning 
we had a slight change in time for all the devotees just to make sure we don't end up in traffic and problems with the school and the children who are finishing school. So tomorrow by 10.30 a.m. I will be here. From 10.30 average until around 11.30, we have 108 coconuts that will be cracking for Lord Ganesha and we'll be chanting the 108 names of Lord Ganapati. If you're here, you'll be given the opportunity to come and make one of the offering for one of the names of Lord Ganesha. So from 10.30 to 11.30, we'll be doing the offerings to Lord Ganesha. While this will be done, chants to Lord Ganesha, bhajans, until around 12 o'clock, give or take according to the time, we'll be doing chants. And from that 12 o'clock hour, we should start preparing to lift Baba Ganesha and take him to the vehicles so that we can begin the procession. So by latest one o'clock, we're expecting to leave here. I know the first time was two o'clock. But if we leave at two o'clock, we'll be bouncing traffic with the schools and so on. So by one o'clock, we want to start leaving tomorrow. And when we leave, we're going to Mayaru. To those who know the spot, we always go. We'll be going to that said spot. And at the Sandhya hour, which is six o'clock in the afternoon, that is Sandhya Kal, we're expecting offerings should be finished and ready to take Baba Ganesha into the waters. So that is the average timing. So devotees who want to come tomorrow, 10.30, we start with offerings of coconuts. By 1 o'clock, latest, we should be ready to leave. So with this, as we end our katha, let me call upon Bhaya Rishi, the president of this wonderful Lachushud Shiv Mandir, to give us a few words of blessings on this most beautiful occasion of the Ganesh Utsav Festival. While our festival concludes tomorrow, while he's preparing, let me give you one of the little surprise. Give them one time, right? So one of the little surprise, only last night, myself and the members of this wonderful mandir came together and we said, you know what? After worshipping Lord Ganesha, devotees would have prayed to remove the obstacles. As soon as the Ganesh festival finishes, on Saturday morning from 5 a.m., the Pitripaksh begins. On Saturday night, we will be here again to perform Garud Puran Yajna. So devotees can be sure to be here we will be joining in the Golan pages of the Garud Puran and also the Kato Upanishad, which deals with death in itself. So we will understand life and death in a different context. Saturday and Sunday, Sunday afternoon will be from 3 to 5 p.m. So we will give devotees the opportunity or the chance to still reach back home and prepare children for the next day of school. So with that, let me hand over to you, Bhai Rishi. See time, everyone. Now, let's see, all in no Pandit Narad always full of surprises. You've got to expect anything from Pandit Narad. So, that was an, a, an additional, what should I say, a surprise. You know, so, we continue, as Bab said, uh, Saturday night, usual time, 7 to 9, and Sunday, 3 to 5. So, you all are invited to come and uh, listen to Garud Puran. Very excited and looking forward to that, Babs. Thank you very much. We ask G. Pandit Narad Gosain, Pandit Randi, Pandit Varun, our resident Pandit, other Pandits, members of the group, specially invited guests, devotees, Sitaram, and a pleasant good evening. Before I proceed to give my simple vote of thanks, it is only fitting that I ask Pandit G. Pandit Varun to say a few words of blessings to us. Pandit Varun has been very, very busy for the past couple of days with yagna and prayers and so on. However, he did make the time this evening to grace us with his presence here, being the last evening of Utsal. So, Panditji. Sitaram. Ganapati Ganesh Bhagavan Ki Jai. Panditji, wonderful members on stage. You, the wonderful devotees, executive of the mandir, Jai Jai Sitaram. So happy to see so much of you here tonight. And of course, I understand this would have been the crowd every night. Yeah, Rishi. And we want to wish each and every one of you Ganapati Ganesha's blessings. For the first time, if you're coming to this mandir, we do hope that your stay with us is very accommodating and very spiritual. Tomorrow, as Pandaji says, he has a lot of activities planned for you. 
So please make the effort and do come out to the Mandir and you all have fun tomorrow. I will not be here, but Baba will lead you and he will guide you accordingly. And so with this in mind, let us all just offer a prayer to Bhagwan as we pray for blessings for each and every one of us here tonight. Om Pranam Yai Shri Shadevam Gauri Putram Vinayakam Bhaktavasam Smare Nityam Ayu Kamarta Siddhe Om Pratamam Vakratundam Cha Ekadantam Dvitiyakam Trityam Krishna Pingaksha Gajabhaktram Chaturpakam Lambo daram panchamam cha, shashtamam vikitame vacha, saptamam vigharajam cha, dhumra varanam tatashtamam, navamam bala chandram cha, dashamam tu vinayakam, ekadisham ganapatim, dwarisham tu gajananam, dwarishaitani namani, trisanyaya pate naraha, nacha vignabhayam tasya sarva siddhi karam prabhu, Vidyarte lavate, Vidyan, the Rarte lavate, Haram, Putrarte lavate, Putran, Mokshartte lavate, Gatim, Jape Ganapati, Stotram, Shadhirma, Sai, Falam lavate, Samat Sadina, Sidhimcha, Lavate, Natra, Sanshaya, Ashtabhyo, Brahm, her name, Heshelikit, where Samarate, Tasya Vidyab, Havit, Sarva, Ganesha, Sir Prasadataha, Om Ganganapate, Namaha, Om Ganganapate, Namaha. Om Ganganapade Mahati Sankat Nashan Vire Sutram Narad Puranam Sampurnam. The blessings of Bhagwan Shri Ganesha is laid down in that mantra. That if you want knowledge, if you want to have children, if you want wealth, if you want moksha, simply by chanting those 12 names of Lord Ganesh, you can have any of those blessings. Ganapati Ganesh Bhagwan Eki Jai. And I'm so happy that you all have Garud Puran here. Yeah? yeah. So if you don't mind. I could pass you on Saturday as well. Yeah. On Sunday, um, I'll be conducting five nights of Garud Puran Yagya at the Mari Tree Ship Shakti Mandir. So you all could feel free to join us there as well. Thank you, Baba. Thank you very much, uh, Pandit Varun. And you know, one thing, we the members of this Mandir, and I guess all of us are truly and indeed blessed to really have some of the best pundits around in our lives. Just to mention a few here tonight. Thank you all very, very much. Let me take this opportunity to make mention of a couple of families here this evening. Uh, Baiji, Mr. Matai and his family. Sitara, Bai, thanks for coming very much. Uh, Mr. Ricky and his family from the central area. Mr. Narayan and family from Tableland, night after night they're here. And uh, Mr. Dale Dindial and family. Sitaram, and thank you for gracing us with your presence. It means a lot to us in this manner and to Pandaji I am sitting. Firstly, let me take this opportunity to say thank you, Pandaji. Thank you for such vibrant and energetic satsang as usual for the past nights. We, the members of the Latches Road Shiv Mandir, and by extension, everyone here this evening, would like to say a very special thank you for the great and special effort you and the members of your group, the Celestial Gandavas, did for us all. Everything was way beyond expectations. And as you all can see, you know, the group on stage is really, really fantastic. You know, as the name says, you know, it's, it's music to make you dance. It's music to make the, you know, the Davies and the Deutas dance. And that is exactly what we get from the Celestial Gandavas. Excellent music as usual. And I always say, and I will continue to say, that Naresh is the best drummer, and I sure Oliver agreed, man. I was always telling that, and he would disagree, man, say, boy, there's better outside there, but I, I, I yet to see that person he's speaking of. I talk about Naresh, but everybody in the group is excellent at what they do. Night after night with Pandiji, they will go, these two girls, you know, Rohan. Rohan, the father of, you know, these two girls, his wife is in the audience also. Night after night, anywhere Pandiji is, Rohan and his family would find themselves there, no matter what the situation is, to, to you know, to, to play Majira, and Rohan would, would do his live broadcast of Abza and so on. Excellent work. Rohan and family continue. Keep it up. Fantastic. Ganapati's Baba. Blessing to you and your family always. This was truly a very, very special Utsa. Not just to us, but for devotees throughout the entire country, local and abroad. This Yagna 
touched us in a way we cannot explain. And it was an experience that we would never, ever forget. Having been privileged by you, Pandaji, to have kept such a beautiful murti of Ganapati Baba here at the Larches Road Shiv Mandir since Utsav 2020. And I'm speaking about this murti to my left. This murti to my right, you know what I've graced us with his presence, you know, Monday, gone. This murti of Ganapati Baba has grown very close to all of us. You know, moving him now would not just leave an empty space on the stage of this mandir, but an empty space in our hearts. We cannot thank you enough. You definitely left us, you know, yearning for more. And I must say, Babs, I'm not just saying this because it's a speech, but indeed and in fact, this Murti of Ganepati Baba, you know, it's as though this place on the stage was made for him. You know, when you look at the, the layout of the stage and where he is, it, you know, it, it kind of captivates your mind looking at him. And he's, he's in such a wonderful position that we would have a focus light on him, you know, every day, every night. And automatically you're driving in the road in front of the temple. And once you reach in front of the temple, your foot on the brakes and, and you're bending. And who you'd see? Straight through the face of Ganapati Baba. And that was one, you know, something that's, you know, stuck in our minds. That when you're passing day or night, you know, you would bend, especially in the night with the lights. You see him looking so beautiful on his stage. And I'm certain all of us would be passing and looking. And, well, I don't want to say it won't be an empty space. There's a beautiful picture of Bhagwan Sri Krishna behind him. You know, so it really would leave an empty space in our hearts. We have grown very, very close to this Murti Bhat, Ganapati Baba. We, you know, always come in making our offering, our prayers, and so on. He has become part of this Monday, part of the altar, and we would really, really miss him from stage. Pandit Randy, no words can express our gratitude to you, Babs. Every day you would come and assist us, not just with Parasad, but anything you could have done in any form or fashion. Going to San Fernando to pick up Lado's, you know, cleaning the Monday, helping to pack food, cleaning up at night, you know, you name it. Thank you very, very much, Pandiji. We cannot express enough thanks to you for, you know, the way you stick with us, you know, through everything, ensuring that everything is properly, properly done. Uh, Danny and family. Danny, thank you so much. The beautiful decoration you see around Ganapati Baba, the Singhasan, wonderful work of, of Danny, you know, who had just come, you know, willingly, you know, he, his wife, his, his daughter, and, you know, they were just do it effortless, all for the name of God. Thank you, Danny. Ganapati's Baba's blessings to you always. I must make mention of Uncle Ajoda and Tanti. You know, they got vexed at me for calling their name, but I have to, you know, for all Murti Puja offering at night after night. Thank you, thank you very much for all your assistance. A special thank you to all our sponsors, you know, for those who have assisted in whatever way to make this occasion a special one. All those who would have contributed in cash and kind, we say thank you very much. We really do appreciate the support. May Bhagwan Ganapati Baba continue to bless you and your family with health, strength, and happiness always. A special thank you to Auntie Tara and Uncle Jimmy, our caterer for two nights, for beautiful, delicious food. Bhagwan's blessings to them now and always. You know, this is, it's all about Ganesh Baba, and I must touch a little bit on him. You know, Lord Ganesh is recognized by his, you know, his, his elephant head, his distinct, you know, belly, his stomach, and his mouth, a small mouse, right? The long ears of Ganesh signifies that he hears whatever his devotees say to him. The elephant head of Ganesh signifies wisdom. Before starting any auspicious task, Lord Ganesh must be worshipped. Ganesh Puja is conducted before beginning of, you know, marriage rituals, before opening a business, you know, you name it, moving into a house. Uh, even in, in temples, before worshipping any other god or goddesses, Ganesh Baba must be worshipped. Why? We have two myths. When Lord Shiva replaced the head of Ganesha with an elephant head, he bestowed Ganesha with several divine powers and announced that no auspicious work can start or be complete without worshipping Lord Ganesha and taking his blessings. That's one. 
Another myth which leads to Ganesha being worshipped first is a story of a race which was won by Bhagwan Sri Ganesha against his brother Katikeya. Lord Shiva held this race between these two brothers and announced that whoever wins the race would be worshipped first. Kartikeya sat on his peacock and circled the entire universe. Bhagwan Sri Ganesh circled his parents as they, were, as they were his universe. Hence, Lord Ganesha was declared the winner and worship in every significant life event and ceremony. I say that to say this. I make mention of this last point and I wish to strongly emphasize one of the most important aspects of our daily lives or even so, the very reason we all exist, our parents. Ganesh Baba recognized and itemized his parents as his universe. So should we. Ganapati Baba instantly recognized his parents to be his entire universe. And let us take this as our message for Ganesh Utsav 2022. To give thanks, love, recognize, appreciate our parents, whether or not they are alive. For without them, we would not be around today and would not even be in the divine and wonderful human beings that we are. Not to ourselves, but to our children and by extension to society. A father's goodness is higher than a mountain. A mother's goodness is deeper than the sea. Always remember, life is not about finding the right person, but creating the right relationship. It's not how we care in the beginning, but how much we care till the very end. Some people always throw stones in our path. It depends on what we take those stones and do with it. We can build a, a wall blocking our pathway, or we can build a bridge to cross over. Search for a good heart, but don't search for a beautiful face, because beautiful things are not always good, but good things are always beautiful. It is not important... It is, not, it is not important to hold all the good cards in life, but important how well we play with the cards we hold. Often we lose hope and think it's the end, but remember God and pray. It's not just a bend in the road, right? It's, it, 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 it's not till the end. Have faith and have a successful life. One of the basic difference between God and humans is that God gives and forgives. However, humans on the other hand tends to get and forget. Be thankful in life. Always remember, never blame anyone in life. The good people gives you happiness. The worst people gives you a lesson. The best people give you memories. So be that kind soul that makes everybody feel like somebody. Pandinarad would have already given us guidelines for tomorrow. As, as Babs rightly said, you know, around 1 o'clock, be in school and so on. You know, we are attempting to leave for that procession to Mayaro. A wonderful procession. Don't, 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 you know, miss out on it. And in addition, the two days of Garud Puran. You can really learn something from, um, from the Garud Puran. And, uh, you know, most of us always have a question, you know, for someone who dies and so on. And, and, you know, what Garud Puran tells us and so on. So it is an opportunity for us to learn something. I must make mention and thank. DJ Veni, 103 personality. Everyone knows DJ Veni. DJ Veni would have dropped off some kids' bag today. And we all know, listening from his program, he's very interactive with children and kids. We all know that. You know, he has this love for kids. So he dropped off some kids', kids bags. And um, at the end, there are quite a number of children here. So uh, the, uh, our temple member, Reshma, would, would sit right on the couch there. And all the kids will go to Reshma and collect your bags. Simple and easy, right? So, with this, Sitaram, thank you very much. We see you all tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday continuing. Bhagwan Sri Ganesh, blessings to each and every one of you. Sitaram, thank you, Babs. Special thanks to Arishi. At this time, without further ado, let us all stand for our final arati. Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha Deva, Mata Jati Parvati, Pita Mahadeva.
गणपति देव हो गणपति देव जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देव और जन पार्वती पिता महादेव गणपति देव हो गणपति Jai Guru Nanak. 
हम सब है तेरे बच्चे स्वामी हम सब है तेरे बच्चे स्वामी जो है हमारा विदाता सुन रन देर जीवन भर कर सुन रन देर गाड़ी गाड़ी पल पल नाम देर गाड़ी गाड़ी पल पल नाम तेरा कर दे Oh, oh, oh. 
Conclude this beautiful night until tomorrow morning at 10:30 a.m. May the blessings of Lord Ganesha be with each and every one. Please do partake of your arti, prasad. Meals have been prepared once more for each and every one. You can have the takeaway boxes right at the front, and also before you leave.